हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते मित्रों माय सेल्फ विवेक ठाकर आई हैव डन माय पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम पंडित दीनदयाल पेट्रोलियम यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई हैव क्रैक्ड द गेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड आई आई सिक्योर्ड द एआर 19 इन 2019 गेट देन आई हैव जॉइंड आईटी मद्रास फॉर लाइक 4 मंथ्स एंड देन आई एम सिलेक्टेड फॉर ओएनजीसी एज अ प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियर सो नाउ आई एम अ प्रोडक्शन आई एम अ प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियर इन ओएनजीसी इन वेस्टर्न ऑफ यूनिट इन एमएचएस so basically starting of this channel was idea of sachin and mine both uh, and this today's topic should come at first but i was at off source so i am little bit late so let's start with this today's topic why and how to frag the gate and ongc so after undergraduation in petroleum engineering and uh, any student have four options he can join higher studies like for higher studies we have two options uh, any students can give up cat examination and join mba and other should uh, and other, other will uh, other will give gre and join the ms in uh, foreign countries and second option was campus placement so if your if your university or college is having a good campus placement then you can try for campus placements third option is gate and fourth option is off campus placement and in oil and gas industry off campus placement is very much hard and yeah so if you are appearing in gate you, you uh, your future plan is like you can either join ongc you can uh, appear in like if you are prepared for gate then you can appear in oil examination and you, you can also join for masters in petroleum or polymer or in geology or geophysics so any student have to decide these four options at point 1 uh, this point one should be in sept or october and maximum up to november because you need to minimum 2 months and maximum 4 or 5 months to preparing for the gate and covering the whole gate syllabus so try to first of all uh, take uh, try to sit in any company which are coming in like uh, starting of the year like in august september july august september so grab the campus placement and if you have a campus placement then you have a better hand because you have a better confidence in the back of the mind so you can do good preparation for the gate and you can uh, give the gate examination with the confidence this matters really matters so try to grab the campus placement up to november and late by late late to late start the preparation from november only so i will make this programs which start preparing from the september only so yeah let's start so basically there are the four steps to frag the gate first one is strategy strategy for hour to hour your time table day to day time table or d day for the d day understanding the concepts so first of all understanding the gate syllabus broadness and depth of the syllabus which are the books that you can you should refer hard work hard work to sharpen your memory hard work to increase your accuracy and hard work to increase the question understanding and solving speed so accuracy and speed both matters but we have to keep balance between these two then fourth step for the gate for the frag the gate is revision it's the most important part of the uh, preparation of gate so time for revision you should have enough time uh, for revision i will discuss that what what should be minimum time for the revision and test series and analysis of previous year's gate examinations and finally detail so for any examination any aspirant have a proper strategy so for gate the first thing first thing uh, should come into mind of any aspirant is proper strategy first aspirant should know their competition in their their own category aspirant should prepare their own fruitful and compulsive time table so that they uh, they can adhere to the time adhere to the time Uh, with full concentration and while preparing and understanding the concepts and covering the whole course they should note their uh, they should make their short notes which make the revision handy and candidate can revise many topic in one go and they can uh, increase the speed of revision so yeah there is a here is there is a table which describe the competition uh for for all category and uh, there is a competition between uh, there is a relation between the number of candidate appear in the gate and the number of vacancy uh, like number of seats in ongc 
so yeah there was a peak of number of seats in ONGC in 2019 after that the seats of uh, ONGC is gradually decreasing and uh, uh, students appeared is almost constant and cutoff is, al is also con is almost constant and for the year of 2020 21 uh, there is a not a single vacancy is declared by ONGC yeah it ONGC will declare but you should know that your competition is almost increasing at each year and number of seats in ONGC is decreasing each year so you have to know your uh, competition in your own uh, category so in all category competition is increasing year by year and so yeah, in petroleum engineering each subject, subject is linked with another subject so I will prefer that you can start from petroleum exploration then reservoir engineering then your PFE um, petroleum formation evaluation then oil and gas well testing then your fifth topic is basic drilling then drilling fluid and well control then cementing operations design and drilling so design of casing string design of your drill string then design of BHA also, also cover after that you can start for DD like uh, horizontal drilling deviation drilling uh, then you, you should start production one so in production one So yeah, in production one, uh, basically well equipment, well completion, well production, production problems, well intervention, worker operations, stimulation operations, and formation debit. This all all should cover in production one. And in production two, uh, ALT, artificial lift methods, and surface facility, uh, along with the nodal analysis. So these topics are covered in production two. Then you can start the offshore drilling and production and production engineering. Then EOR, enhanced oil recovery. Then latest trend, and at the end you should uh, pre uh, you should prepare for HSC because HSC has a very vast syllabus, and if you have no time for uh, covering the whole syllabus, whole syllabus you can skip because I will show that what what are the individual subjects weightage. So yeah, your preparation pre uh, preparation ideally your preparation should should start from September. So you can divide like uh, for preparation you have three and a half months like September, October, November and half of December so you have like uh, 100, 105 days for the covering the whole syllabus so for petroleum engineering there are the total 15 sub topics or sub chapters so you can cover 5, five 4 or 5 chapter in a 1 month then uh, so you can complete your whole syllabus in 3 and half months and uh, here I only uh, mentioned the only petroleum engineering course Maths and aptitude you can do like uh, in each day you can study like six to eight year, eight hours. So uh, one or two hours for refreshing your mind and like uh, to sharpen your mind you can do aptitude and math prob maths and along with English. So yeah, uh, basically uh, ideally now uh, uh, gate preparation sh should be done in like three and a half months enough for the gate preparation, uh, like covering the full syllabus. So in GATE 2020, uh, there are the 27 marks from theoretical part and 58% mark of from numerical part. So your concept building will not help to solve your numerical part. So to solving the numerical part, you should have a good numerical skills and you should work on your numerical and mathematical hard work. You, you have to do the hard work for that and it will increase your accuracy and also speed. So ba balance between the accuracy and speed will give a good uh, fruitful result for your numerical part. So Basically, 10 months for the D-Day, like on the for the gate examination, time management. So this is the most common problem among with candidates. Most of candidates fail in this effective utilization of the time. Never you have to never get stuck on a question for long for a longer time. Like this paper is if if your paper was very lengthy, then it will make you a very it it will get you in very big trouble. So if you don't know the questions, advance on to the next advance go on to the next. A question and you can turn back the question after completing the rest of your paper and second point is attempting attempting the general aptitude question first so if you are attempting a, your general aptitude question first with a fresh mind there are the more chances to get them right and as you know the gate questions are the more technical and conceptual and solving is a time compound time consuming process so if you are having a fresh mind then it will help uh, to uh, solve the question very speedily and same as your verbal ability questions and your numerical, numerical ability questions.
we are attempting the general aptitude and math section and your english english section is a very good uh, like strategy third strategy for the uh, third mantra for the d day is attempting the group question so there are the many questions in like your uh, aptitude section only also in your uh, for petroleum subject also that are the group questions that that are related to one another like one para can be there and two three questions will be there so attempt attempt the, that group questions and i should prefer you should go for the first integer type question because integer type questions are the very hard questions and you have to do uh, you have to give a more time for that so if you have, so in the starting of the exam you are the calm you are not facing the hard questions so you are very calm so you, you can solve the integer type question first and then you can do for your one or two mark uh, mcq questions so like fourth month for the gate examination is remain calm so if you are not getting some questions don't don't panic it's not wrong to not get a uh, not understanding the question but your mind is not on that stage that uh, your mind can describe the question so you should go to the another question and stress would only make the more things things more worse attempt the question which you know first and after completing the paper move to the unanswered question which are like you are not getting at the first time use the tricks to, to solve the question so you should make some tricks for the some type of questions like some shortcuts for the some type of questions so uh, you should have your own shortcuts for uh, like particular type of questions sixth sixth mantra for the gate is read the question thoroughly so read the questions and instruction thoroughly don't jump to the conclusion or do not misinterpret the question try to analyze the examiner's mind and remember every marks count so analysis say that if problem takes more than 8 steps to solve candidate candidate must re will re uh, will re reread the question so it will waste of time so first of all calmly read the question and understand the whole question and then jump to the solution then seventh is students should maintain the balance between the accuracy and speed throughout the gate examination so i have already discussed about it make your own strategy so you should have your own strategy that uh, you can also uh, solve some your favorite subjects questions first like after completing integer you can come you can uh, solve the uh, questions from your favorite subjects and then you can jump to the uh, your unusual topics then uh, make your own like uh, make your own exam strategy ninth uh, eighth mantra ninth mantra is be careful and accurate in answering the questions so in petroleum engineering also like it 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 has happened with me also that uh, question is asking the question in percentage and we are giving the uh, answering fraction so like uh, what is the saturation in percentage and i am giving the answer is 0.6 but it it uh, it, it was 60% but i uh, answer 0.6 so this silly mistakes should happen so uh, be careful and accurate in answering the questions like if if they ask for the three uh, uh, three digit after the uh, in three, uh, three three digit integer so you should answer in the three digit don't don't make blind question blind guess obviously in competitive examination there is no meaning of guessing the blind so yeah these are the 10 mantra for the examination for the petroleum engineering as per gate syllabus you have 12 subjects and uh, first two are engineering mathematics and general aptitude and other nine other 10 subjects are from the four petroleum engineering so uh, here there is a chart which is describing about the average weight of weightage of each subject uh, and this uh, average weightage is calculated by averaging out the each year weightage of each subject uh, in gate examination so yeah here for the general aptitude there is almost weightage of or constant weightage of 15 marks each year then for the engineering, engineering mathematics the average weightage is uh, almost like 15.8 it's varying between 13 to 14 each year and uh, the second uh, highest weightage uh, is for the uh, reservoir engineering it's 17.2 so reservoir engineering is a very scoring subject and along with reservoir engineering well testing will come well testing uh, oil and gas well testing having is also having a good weightage of 6 marks having a very small syllabus so yeah these two are very scoring subjects then your petroleum exploration having a 2.6 mark of average weightage then oil and gas drilling technology 
uh, is also having a 10.4 weightage so it's also very good uh, weightage and for the petroleum production operations the average weightage is 13.6 and uh, the another very good scoring subject having a very small syllabus is petroleum formation evaluations means well of methods and techniques having a 6 marks of average weightage so yeah this 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 is the scoring subject and your offshore production and offshore production and drilling practice is also having a three, uh, three average mark three average weightage then you are having a 5.4 is all you are having a very very small syllabus and having a very good uh, weightage of 5.4 marks latest trends in petroleum industry is also having a 2.6 of 2.6 marks of average weightage and here you can see the hsc HSC syllabus is very vast and it's having only weightage of 2.6 so if you are not able to complete your syllabus in uh, uh, in like two, two and a half months or three and a half months you should you can skip this topic because if you are looking in 2019 and 2020 gate there are the only one question in 2020 there is not a single question from HSC uh, HSC in petroleum industry has come so yeah you can skip that topic so yeah gate syllabus so even one mark can become a game changer so one should try to cover the whole, syll whole syllabus but not beyond the gate syllabus so you should know that what is the boundary and the depth of your syllabus here the whole entire gate syllabus uh, so for engineering mathematics first first topic is uh, linear algebra in linear algebra only three three subtopics are there matrix algebra uh, algebra system of linear equations and eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the calculation these are the sub, uh, these are the subtopics functions of single variable limit continuity and difference uh, differentiability taylor series mean value theorem equation of de definite and improper integral partial deviation pa pa partial derivatives total derivative maxima minima gradient then your divergence and pearl vector uh, in, uh, in your vector you have vector identities and uh, Directional de derivatives, uh, your line and surface volume integral, strokes, Gauss, and your Green theorem. So this is the uh, subtopics of the calculation. Uh, calculation. Then differential equation. So in differential equations, then you have first order of differential equation, linear or nonlinear. Then your higher order, uh, higher order linear differential equations with the constant coefficients, initial and boundary boundary value problems. Then your Laplace transformation, solution of one dimension heat and wave equation, and the Laplace equation. So this is not deriving the Laplace and heat equation. This is only the uh, how the equation is come. So this is only the cover in the differential equation part. Then your complex uh, variables in your complex in your complex variable, complex number, polar and polar form of complex number and triangle inequality. These these are the three only subtopics in the com complex variable which is in gate syllabus so probability and statistics same numerical method in numerical method only three sub topics numerical solution for linear and nonlinear algebraic equation integration by the trapezoidal and simpson method simpson suit single and multi-step methods for the numerical solution of differential equation then in code petroleum from petroleum exploration uh, like uh, classification of cl classification and description of some of the uh, com common common rocks with the special reference to the classic and non-classic and reservoir rocks. So uh, this is the basic geology part is come into the pet petroleum exploration. Then the origin, migration, and accumulation of petroleum and petroleum exploration methods. So uh, basically types of uh, exploration methods and little bit detail of that uh, particular exploration method. Oil and well gas drilling technology. So well planning. So uh, well planning. Then you you can cover your well planning from like oh, in this manual. So for this all petroleum syllabus, you you should one you, you should uh, refer the oh, in this manual. Then drilling method, drilling rigs, drilling operations, drilling operating uh, rig operating systems. Then drilling fluids, functions and properties. Drilling fluid uh, maintenance equip uh, maintenance equipment, oil and gas cementing operations. Then your drill string casing design functions and your selections, operations, all the things, then uh, drilling problems and uh, their controls and remedies uh, along with well control, directional drilling tools, di direction surveys, application of horizontal multilateral and extended drilling and your uh, symbols.
uh, your slim belt then reserve engineering then reserve engineering also these are the only sub topic sub topics petrophysical properties of the reserve rock so yeah you can do this petrophysical from tava chamath and, and dandega then coring and coring and core analysis of the reservoir fluid properties phase wave behavior for hydrocarbons your fluid flow uh, through the porous medium water and gas coning reservoir pressure uh, pressure measurement reservoir drives drive mechanisms and recovery factors and reservoir estimations and techniques so you should uh, you should also prepare, uh, prepare for your reservoir estimation and techniques from for the reservoir engineering then petroleum products and well equipments well completion well production problems and mitigation well servicing work over operation means your well uh, well intervention your well intervention in work over and completion fluids formation damage well stimulation methods artificial lift your uh, your fuel processing of gas and oil means your surface facility your storage facilities transportation facilities metering facilities and measurement measurement of oil and gas both then production system analysis and optimization your production testing and multi phase flowing tubing and flow lines like multi phase flowing vertical and horizontal flow nodal analysis and pressure vessel storage tanks and the shale and tube type of heat exchanger so shale and tube type of, type of heat exchanger is also included and pumps and compressor are also included in production and the lng value can so these are the topics covered in production entire production subject then also drilling and production practices so offshore oil and gas product op operations and ocean environments your uh, offshore fixed type of platforms then offshore mobile units station keeping methods like mooring and dynamic position uh, your dps dynamic dynamic positional system then your offshore drilling rigs from the fixed platforms and jacob types of rigs ships semi submersible rigs use of conductors and risers offshore well completion type of offshore well completion dry well or christmas dry or wet completion then your uh, deep water application of subsea technology offshore production oil processing platforms and water injection platforms storage spm and spm sbm transportation and utilities your deep water drilling rigs deep water production systems and your uh, emerging deep water technologies like gradual as and which uh, which are the new technology for the deep water this is entire covering in offshore drilling and production subject so uh, in production formation evaluation evaluation of petrophysical of subsea formations principal uh, principles and applications advantage and disadvantage of sp resistivity your radioactive wave uh, your radioactive logs acoustic Uh, acoustic type of tools and your uh, evaluation of CBL, VDL, USIT, uh, SFT, R RFT. Then your uh, production logging tool, your PLG tools, principal limitation and applications. Then your casing inspection tools and special type special type of tools like N NMR for uh, NMR uh, formation micro scanner FMS. Then your standard logs interpretation methods and your cross plotting methods. So this entire is covering in the uh, your petroleum exploration, uh, petroleum formation exploration syllabus. Then your oil and gas well testing. So diffusivity, starting with the diffusivity equation, deviation, derivation, and solution. So you have to prepare for the uh, your diffusivity equation. Your, uh, also, how to derive the diffu diffusivity equation. So yeah, we will dis we we will discuss about this in that particular topic. And radius of investigation, principle of superposition, Horner's uh, approximation. So these topics are covered in layer, your uh, John Lee, drill stream test, then pressure transit test, drawdown test, build up test analysis, valve effect, multi layer re reservoirs, then your injection well testing, in in injection well well testing, multiple well testing, inter in in interference testing, pulse testing, then your uh, well test analysis by the use of type curve analysis, and at the end gas well testing. in hsc also there are the sub, sub topics eor there is a very small topics like basic mechanism and principle of the eor screening of eor then your concept of pattern of flooding recovery efficiency permeability height permeability heterogeneity microscopic and macroscopic uh, displacement efficiency then eor methods chemical flooding miscible uh, flooding thermal 
your thermal recoveries and microbial ur and the latest trend in latest trend you have only four part uh, four subtopics coal bed methane shale gas uh, shale gas and shale oil and gas hydrate and heavy oil yeah revision so revision is the most important phase of the one's preparation the revision so basically uh, whether you have completed your syllabus or not whatever you have to take stock uh, 1.5 months before the exam now 1.5 months means your 45 days okay so you have got 30 days for the revision and making the short notes of the revision and 15 days to practice in test series and to solve the previous gate questions like uh, there are the number of test series are available AIOT, Petrogate, Petrodyzen, ETC there are more uh, test series are also there but I should prefer you should join any of the two this test, uh, uh, this test series now how to schedule this 30 days so you should make a make a three make a three group of 10 days each you, have, you should make a three group of 10 days each now we have basically three main subjects pet uh, reserve engineering drilling and production so now in these 10 days you have to work around eight to ten days per day and dedicated each day into two halves so in two halves of four five hours or in two half one uh, in two half like one half is of eight uh, five hour and one half is three hour so you should prepare the maths and attitude uh, uh, among this so uh, now in 10 days you have to focus on five subjects so we can cover the 15 subjects including maths and apt so now how to revise so you have to divide the each subject into four two parts uh, four sub parts and then target to complete each part according according that all subjects should finish in two three days like four day uh, and if the subject is tough like visual engineering or well testing then four days for a subject now during the revision read no read notes thoroughly and uh, of the part uh, take then make a short note of your uh, from your own short note at the type of concept building then uh, then you have to solve the previous year's gate, uh, previous year's gate question of like four, four, five years, and after completing TC, uh, after completing the uh, revision part, you can join any test series and you can give subject wide test, full test. So yeah, this is all about the revision. Now these are the keynotes that should keep in your mind at the time of revision. Never quit a subject. Never, never quit. If you are not able to complete complete a subject in two three days, give one more days to the subject. Understand that you have to uh, you have to solve the medium level questions. So in exam, don't try to give much very very much depth into the subject, but just understand what what is required to solve the question. Okay. So never think about the results. Just focus on the process. Now you uh, you need to the best one. Uh, you need not to be be a best one on the subject, but definitely you should not leave any subject. So that you can attempt the easy level question and medium level question in and in every subject. So yeah, after gate. So after gate, you are waiting for your result. And in March, as your result comes, like uh, sab log wait kar rahe hota results ke liye. And jaise result aata hai, log ek group bana lete hai. So category wise bhi group bana lete hai. So uske andar uh, kaun se yaar pe kitna gate score sab ko apko pata chal jayega. Aur ye just ek information hai. कि वन गेट वन मार्क ऑफ इंटरव्यू इक्वल टू 16.66 गेट स्कोर तो अगर मेरा रैंक 19th है और अगर मुझे 11th नंबर को कॉम्पीट करना है तो मुझे 11th नंबर को मैं कॉम्पीट कर सकता हूं अगर मैं इंटरव्यू में 11th नंबर से दो मार्क्स ज्यादा ले आऊं मतलब आपका 19th रैंक होते भी आप अपना सिलेक्शन करवा सकते हैं अगर इंटरव्यू में अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करके मार्क्स ले आए तो अप टू 15th रैंक आई कैन कॉम्पीट बाय गेटिंग वन मार्क्स मोर इन इंटरव्यू so in uh, after gate also you don't have to lose the hope you should prepare for the interview and if you score more than your uh, above above comp uh, above competitors then you can uh, jump your uh, rank for the uh, getting the seat of ongc so yeah these are the calculation this is these are the books that you can refer for the covering your petroleum syllabus uh, thank you so if you like the video agar video acha laga hai to aap हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हो और हमें फॉलो करिए फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम और यूट्यूब पे फॉर मोर अपडेट्स एंड अगर आपको हमारी नेक्स्ट वीडियो देखनी है तो आप बेल आइकन को भी ऑन रख सकते हो
या थैंक यू